Oh, it's on now. So you're loading into Rock the Cradle, but you don't know how to stealth. Don't worry, I'll tell you everything you need to know before you load in. Normal to very hard play a little differently than overkill, so there's timestamps in the description. Go inside and stick to the left. At the end is a door. Lock pick it. Go up the stairs and through the left door. There's a chance for a guard to be over here, so check before you barge in. If he isn't there, Make a beeline to this door. If the camera's looking here, don't worry, you have long ass arms that can reach the door from under the camera. Once inside, hack this computer and a highlighted person will appear. You need to go to her and imitate your creepy uncle and stalk her by hacking her phone and lingering around her. If she's about to go through a door, wedge up on it before she does because she closes all doors behind her, including locked ones. Once hacked, make your way back up to her office and get this blank VIP card. Now you need to get your name on that shit. There's three spawns for the authenticator. Either across from her office here, in the lounge room by the bartender, or at the entrance of the club, up the stairs, and in this lounge. But if you don't have the hacking camera skill and the authenticator is up here, well, you're fucked because these two cameras are always looking at it. Now, restarting won't solve your issue since every restart will have the same seed. So if you do need to restart, keep in mind, quite literally all aspects are the same, including NPC spawns and routes so for a true restart leave the match and come back okay so slap the card onto there do some techno gizmo stuff with the computer and take the vip card once you have the card it becomes a shared asset so you and your crew can just waltz in but get the key card from the bouncer wait until the observed tech disappears and snatch it all right now you can mask up if you need to even though it says private area here, since you have the VIP card, civs, guards, and cams don't care about you until you go into secure areas. You gotta get out of here, seriously. Oh, I didn't realize you were chill like that. I recommend to run Infiltrator Ace and Quick Fingers, costing 3 skill points. Or a good alternative is Hacker and Secure Loop, so you can remotely camera loop cameras for a short while, costing 2 skill points. Go up to the bouncers, start a lockpick and immediately exit to gain Rush. Go over to the right, and if you have Quick Fingers skill and Rush, you can lock the door before the camera can spot you, or you can hack the camera instead. Do that again for this door, but be careful of these two cameras. Wedge up on the door and crouch past the sieve, this gives you just enough time to get by them unspotted. Open this door, sprint to the bartender, and crouch. Routes. Sprinting in a secure area alerts the guards so the bouncers will start walking toward you behind the bartender. As they do that, run back around them and snatch the blue keycard to open this door. The Bluetooth device is ready to help. Go down and to the right. Open up this door and open the vent. There are vents around the edges of the VIP section as well as a walkway in the middle, so use them to get around. Note that guards can still get on the walkway, so look out for them. And also, try not to get distracted too much. Now you need to get into the IT room. It's always guarded by a bouncer in a black suit and can spawn anywhere on the edges of the area. Enemy spotted. Once you find him, go into a room beside the one he's in front of and there's always a vent with access to it. Once found, look at the whiteboard and write it down. You need to go back to that panel room earlier. All of the panels have digits on them and four switches. Find the corresponding code and the corresponding switch color and disable the power. You got it? Nice, okay, get to the accountant's office, follow the vents onto this balcony, and hack the computer. Two, one. Once it's done its thing, interact with it and head back to the IT room. The server room door will now be open and you can snag the crypto wallet. The deposit area can be on either sides of the train, get to them however you can. Okay, now you can leave, but if you want to get more goods, you can. There's cocaine littered all around the map and a vault. The vault is in a random room around the edges of the map, and the correct code is somewhere in the accountant's office. Now, get to the exit. You can either rush it, which is extremely risky, or better to use the vents on the edge of the area to get there. Alright, so you just completed Rock the Cradle and definitely first try without getting spotted.